it's Make It Happen Monday, which means you do your best on Monday. You get your ass out of bed. You get your workout in. You do everything that you need to do to get your diet on plan. You get all your meetings in, whether they're one-on-ones, whether they're reaching out to your clients, whether they're catching up on something from last week, you get it done today, okay? Today is where the day, today is the day that you set the bar high because you need that positive response in your brain that you can do it. Hey, I can wake up at 4 a.m. I can be in the 4 a.m. club. Okay, I did it once. Why couldn't I do it again? Why can't I do it again after that? And that positive thinking is something that will pay off and it will be infectious to yourself. You can even write affirmations like Sunday night, this is what I do. Sunday night, Sunday night, this is your make it happen Monday. You will wake up at 4 a.m. You will journal and read the Bible. You will get out of the house at 5.15 to get into the gym. You will do your full workout to completion along with your cardio and stretch and get to the office. You will not dawdle when you get home. When you get in the office, you will look at this list and this list is what you want to get done on Monday. What is it that you need to get done that you have to keep moving forward? Well, for example, today, I needed to catch up with a lot of people and I needed to catch up on last week because I was out of town on conferences. I needed to catch up on a couple of projects that were stalling and I needed to move them forward. And I needed to get myself motivated to literally record this podcast. And then lastly, I needed to prepare for meetings this week and for some things in the rest of the year, to put some things on the calendar. That is what I wrote intentionally. Those are the things that in my mind would allow me to have a successful week the rest of the week. So Make It Happen Monday is about doing everything to perfection. So I've been doing this for a long time, for years actually. And my Make It Happen Monday was always the eating was right, the working out was right, no drinking, and I would make all of my sales calls. I would really focus on my top opportunities, like my top 20%, and how am I going to move those forward? What actions do I need to take? And it wasn't until really recently that So in the last podcast, I talked about I'm doing the hormones, I'm doing the working out, um, I'm working out when I'm on vacation, I hired a trainer, um, I'm doing meal prepping, I'm doing things that are just helping me be um, a better person um, and more prepared so I'm not so scattered. The other thing after doing that, like being really intentional about all those things, I'm like, gosh, if I want to do all of these things, then I also need to get up earlier. Like physically, I don't have time. I was doing things like, ooh, quick, I'm going to do this, quick, I'm going to do that. I don't have time to make it substantial if I don't wake up early enough. So I joined the 4 a.m. club. So I wake up between 4 and 4.45 every day. Um, on Saturday and Sunday, I do let myself sleep. So I just wake up when I wake up. Uh, I'm consistently going to bed between nine and nine 30. So yes, I am boring, <laughs> but man, I am getting it. I'm getting it done. So last night I went to bed at nine o'clock. Um, I did my self-care Sunday stuff, um, spent time with the family Andy made an amazing brisket and we had a great family dinner and we sat around and talked. We went and watched the sunset. I mean, it was a great Sunday night and I got myself to bed because I knew I wanted Monday. I wanted to make it happen today. So that's one thing that it grows from there. It really does. It really makes it where your brain can be like, 
holy shit, like I can get this done. Why couldn't I do this every day of the week? And there's this thing where you get tired by Thursday, right? Like, like I've been getting up, I've been doing the same workout. But again, with the positivity, I think we need to be positive in, you know, why can't I just walk? Why can't I just keep going? Um, why can't I do a yoga class? How come I can't just go swimming in sauna? Well, you know, maybe I should just walk on the treadmill and, you know, listen to a podcast and I could get my body moving. I think we tend to give ourselves like these rest days and we're really, we're really sed, sed, sedentary. I don't know what that word is. Uh, we're a lazy society. We don't walk at all, especially if you live in the suburbs, you're not walking. I was just in New York and I could not believe how much I walked. My, I was just everywhere or you're subwaying it. But even in the subway, you walk from the train all the way to the, all the way out. I mean, you're, you're walking a, a lot, miles every day. And we don't have that in the suburbs. So I, I don't really believe in the rest day either. Uh, so that's why I think make it happen Monday. Can you raise the bar? You got that positive thinking about yourself. You you know what you need to accomplish. You're putting, you're being very intentional about your time. So I would say the other things that I do on make it happen Monday, uh, I make my bed, like I have to make my bed every day. I just don't like to walk into the room when I come home from work and have a messy bed. I don't know. It just is weird to me. Um, there's some other things that I really believe in the power of doing something every day consistently, but you just have to start with one day at a time. So for me, it's the no drinking, it's the flossing. I'm on day 101 of Duolingo, um, exercising, not cheating on your diet plan, uh, just being very uh, regimented about that, uh, getting that time in with your team and uh, or with your customers, whatever function you have, like really being intentional about that. Uh, reading, like getting that, getting those books, like having a, a book, like a number of books to be like, oh my gosh, I have three books. I'm so excited to read these. Um, personal and personal development. I always recommend having two books. Um, right now I have a personal develop. I, gosh, why can't I remember the names? Oh, I'll link them somewhere. Um, I'll put them on Patty Post CEO, the Instagram, and then the TikTok, the two video or the two books that I'm reading. I know one is Kristen Hanna, and then I know the other one is Paula, and she's talking about don't make, don't listen to yourself when you feel sol- sorry for yourself and make excuses. Oh, I came from a bad background. Oh, I didn't have as much money as that person. Oh, I I don't need to be doing this. She's like over the top, like high achiever and talks about the importance of not feeling sorry for ourselves and making excuses. So that's what Make It Happen Monday is all about. Uh, looking at what you want to accomplish what you want to, how you're going to accomplish it, when you're going to accomplish it, and then being able to activate it every single day. And if you can do it one day, I guarantee you, you can do it two. And if you do it two, then you can do it three, and then you can do it four, then you can do it five, then you can do it six, then you can do it seven. So every day of the week, when you look back and you're on Sunday night, you're like, oh my gosh, look at what I did. And it might take you a couple of weeks to make that happen. It might take you a couple months, but don't let yourself make the excuses. So make it happen Monday. Get your shit done today. Do what you got to do to be a better human, the best human, so you can accomplish your goals and you don't have to feel sorry for yourself for not accomplishing them because you're the only one that's standing in your way. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing special about those other people that are accomplishing things. We're not talking about being an Olympic athlete. We're not talking about being the next Tom Brady. We're talking about being a high performer in whatever you're doing and you just 
need to do it. And for all those women out there that have children, that have a husband, you need to put that time for yourself. And maybe you need to wake up early. Maybe you need to put the kids to bed and then focus on yourself. Because I promise you that watching Bravo with a glass of wine and a side of popcorn is not helping you accomplish your goals. You're telling yourself that it is. It's not. You're unwinding and you're doing something that you're telling yourself that it's good because you're getting some dopamine hits, could be releasing some serotonin uh, depending on the time of month that you're in. But I guarantee that with time, if you actually focused and started on Monday of carving that time out for yourself and you're consistent in that, you would realize it's not that hard and make things a non-negotiable. Nope, I'm not. I'm not going to miss my workout. I'm not going to miss my walk. I'm not going to miss calling my mom. I'm not going to miss my self-care for my face on Sunday night. Whatever that is, don't, don't make excuses. And I say that for women because we tend to put ourselves after our families. And we tend to have the kids' activities. We tend to have our husband's activities. And we tend to say, oh, well, I'll, date. I'll do it. And because we have a lot of empathy and that empathy, you actually need to have some assertiveness too. You need to have balance there. And if you're assertive about yourself and making time for yourself, then you should, you should have balance. You should still have empathy. It's the same thing in the workplace. We need to have balance on our empathy and our um, assertiveness. So I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, but that's what I'm doing right now. My make it happen Monday is I am podcasting every day for 30 days and I'm kicking it off today and make it happen Monday. In the middle of the day, I'm coming into my podcast studio and I'm just doing these podcasts. And I'm going to do it every day because it's not that hard. I love to talk about this stuff. I want to motivate others. I want to share with others that a life of high performance is totally obtainable. If you stop making excuses and stop rationalizing and write down what you want to do to kick some ass. So with that said, write down what you want to be doing. What are some habits you want to do every day? Well, I want to learn a new language. I want to be fluent in Spanish by 2025. Well, I'm not going to be able to go and immerse myself right now. So what can I do? I can do Duolingo every day. Every day. Just... There's my 15 minutes a day of my Duolingo. Okay, they give me a streak too. It's awesome. I can make sure that I am eating my meal plan. Well, I meal prep on Sunday. So I have it on Monday. I am guaranteed I'm going to eat clean because I already have the meals cooked. I'm going to work out. So I'm going to get to bed early. I'm also going to spend time with my kids. I'm going to carve out that time, make dinner together, eat dinner together, clean up, and then read at night. I got my two books. Which one am I going to read? I don't know. Whatever I feel like. It doesn't matter. Read. Just get some reading in. So good for your brain. Get your exercise in. No excuses. Choose what you're going to do. Know your workout plan. This is all about being prepared and do it all on Monday, okay? I know you can do it. And I'm going to be posting about it. So make it happen Monday. Follow Patty Post CEO. And uh, on LinkedIn, it's just Patty Post. TikTok, Patty Post CEO. And I'm going to get better at stuff. So I'm going to report back. And I've got my uh, training on Wednesday with my trainer, Farcon. And we're going to talk about how I did the week prior my travel. When I worked out, I actually accomplished that. So I'm proof that you can accomplish things when you just put your mind to it. No more excuses, okay? Can we just can we just commit to that this week? And if you do fail, hey, we all make mistakes. We all trip up. But the thing is that you don't need to self-sabotage then. Like, okay, Monday was my perfect day. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay? So with that, let's go out in the world. Let's accomplish wonderful things, people, okay? 